paparazzi way out here in Japan. About to head over to Fukuoka. Right now, head to the airport. We'll be there in about 30 minutes, so I'll see you there. So we arrived at the airport, and now I just have to find the departure date. Flying out of Skymark, so we'll see where that's at. Gotta go get our boarding pass. So welcome to Naha Airport. Now I just gotta find the gate. Can't wait to get to Fukuoka show you around. But for right now, let's go find that gate, get our boarding pass, and get seated. We've arrived at the ticket machine. So let's get our tickets. If you ever get lost at the Naha airport or any airport, you can usually find these little maps right here that will tell you where you're going. It's written in Japanese, but they also have pictures so you can see where you're going. So we finally made it to gate 25. About to go through security. Wish me luck. We have a lot of different checks to make sure you get to the right place. So, if you're new here, you'll be alright. One thing you should always do when you come to an airport before you get on an airplane, since you can't bring in your own liquids, it's a good idea to go to the convenience store. So that free content that I showed you before for charging, they have one right at the gate. So check it out. They have really interesting seats here. I don't know if they want you to be extra comfortable or less comfortable so you don't stay long. Either way, I'm staying. Alright, it's time to board. Let's go. I just want to point out real quick that I haven't used a gimbal at all since this video started. I will be using one later. But let me know what you think about the stability of this camera without a gimbal. Card, a Suica card, or one of these cars, a Hayakakin card. I got a couple of them, but I'm going to load up some money on them right now. So right now we're 
right now we're headed to a bar called Goodies for a good friend, a bartender. We're gonna say hi to him and then do some food and say hi to our other <laughs> friends at the restaurant as well. We just ordered the taco roll of chicken. Oh, Dajmu with this. Uh, so the taco roll of chicken was sold out, unfortunately. So we changed the order to just regular chicken. He gave us a good deal on it. He's going to give it to us half off. We ended up getting to Fukuoka about 15 hours early. So we spent a little bit of time at an internet cafe. And boy was this place nice. You have all the manga you can read. All the drinks you can drink for free. They had some snacks for sale. This place was just awesome. In my bag. So for starters, we have the noise canceling headsets made by Bose. It's nice and compact. You can fold them sideways. It can fit in your bag. You can fold them up like this. These are great. It's good for listening to audio, which I get from my audio recorder from Zoom. This right here is the H1N by Zoom. And with the Zoom, I bought these from Amazon, a lavalier mic. It's approximately five feet long. I attached a wind dampening cloth on the top with a clip. You can put this on your shirt. And you can do interviews or you can just do your own commentary. And then you can just tuck the rest inside of your shirt to conceal it and this end plugs into the zoom just like that also I have this universal charger it's great for traveling i bought this at don quixote and on one end this has a usb other end has a micro usb you can attach this is for iphones or you can attach this end usb c i also have a battery pack you gotta have an extra battery pack just in case you run out of power on the go, this has about 10,000 milliamp hours. And this one right here, 16,000 milliamp hours. I like this one, it's great for traveling because you can charge three devices at the same time. Also, if you need it, you have a little light right there. This one's super powerful. This can charge an iPhone 8 Plus up to six times. Right here, I have the flex clamp. This is awesome for if you don't have a tripod or you're in a position where a tripod won't work. Use a flex clamp. It's really powerful. It's probably 40 pounds of pressure, maybe 50. And it has a strap wrench right here so that you can strap it onto something and it'll stay forever. It's not coming off. It's pretty tight. And of course, the GoPro attachment. But if you ever see GoPro, they always have this attachment right here. You can mix and match different accessories together. And speaking of GoPro, you gotta have the GoPro battery. I have a bunch of these. I have one right here. GoPro charger dock right here, USB. 
GoPro charger out, two batteries in here. You never know. Battery right here, battery in the GoPro that I'm using as well. So that makes four batteries, but I have two more batteries. A total of six batteries. And I also went and bought this sand disc memory card for the GoPro. This is the one that you should use for your GoPro because if you use the wrong memory card for your GoPro, it's only going to record for about 30 seconds before shutting off and it's just not compatible. So make sure you get the right memory card, look it up on Google. And when I do the GoPro review, I'll go over which memory cards are compatible. But this right here, can't go wrong with this. This has 256 gigabytes, so you're going to have a lot of recording time. And I definitely need all that recording time because when I'm on the go, sometimes I don't bring my laptop so I can't transfer files. So I have to wait until I get all the way back home. This is a 32 gigabyte Extreme Plus memory card necessary for when I shoot in 4K. The other memory card's read and write speed just is not fast enough for 4K. So you need something powerful enough to do 4K. Unfortunately, they ran out of the larger memory card, so I only have 32 gigabytes, which is not a lot for 4K. But I don't really shoot in 4K anyway because it gets dumbed down for YouTube and for Facebook. So I'd stick to 1080, but I can also use this for 1080 and gives me another 32 gigabytes to work with. Last but not least, we have the Karma Grip GoPro Gimbal. I like this thing. This is awesome. Right now it's dead because I was using it earlier. So battery's done. And you can hear it, it's trying to use its motors, but there's no GoPro in it, so it just freaks out. Uh, this is awesome because the battery inside of here when the GoPro is in there and it's on, it will charge the GoPro battery. So I can go really far with just one GoPro battery. In fact, I've been recording for roughly six, seven hours on just one GoPro battery because when I put it in here, it starts charging it again. Kind of like a car alternator or something. But the downside about that is because it's charging the GoPro battery, it's effectively being drained a lot faster. But it all works out at the end because I just get the shots I want, turn it off. So that's what's in my bag. And of course, now that I'm in my hotel room, it's time to get some more power. Time to charge up all these devices. And this charges with the USB-C right there at the bottom. Now it's time to get ready to go back out. Time to shower up, get changed, and hit the road. See you in a minute. Uh, let's go ahead and get back to what we were doing before, checking out Fukuoka. See you back on the streets. Hello Kitty is worth billions of dollars and this is the reason why. Fukuoka is famous for its ramen, and this is my very favorite spot to go to get ramen. In this mall right here, Canal City, it's got all these different options you can go to.
finally arrived at my good friend Goody's Soul Bar. Yeah.